Bailey Nurseries is the wholesale growing partner, breeder, and marketing company behind the Endless Summer Hydrangeas, First Edition Shrubs and Trees, and Easy Elegance Roses brands, as well as hundreds of other varieties sold across North America and worldwide. With growing locations in Minnesota, Illinois, Oregon, Washington, and Georgia, Bailey is known for their high quality plant material, producing over 10 million liners for sales, upshifts, and internal production each year. With the diverse plant mix and product offering, coupled with neighborly customer service, Bailey proudly serves the grower and re-wholesale channel, retail garden centers, landscapers, and other chain stores. A fifth generation, family-owned business, Bailey employs over a thousand hardworking women and men, experts in their fields, to push boundaries and keep Bailey at the progressive, leading edge of breeding, propagation, production, and marketing. All of this is done to support the Bailey customer and green industry, not only to ensure today's success, but for years to come with a focus on growing what's next. We are quality focused first. From propagation to the field through the warehouse, we're committed to giving you the best product we can. I'd say that our primary role within Bailey is to act as a provider of genetics for either the Endless Summer brand of Hydrangea Macrophylla or the First Editions brand of Trees and Shrubs. Our primary goal is of course to provide innovative plants that have exciting new characteristics, but also improved environmental tolerances compared to the plants that you'll find on the market today. I think one of the nicest things about being an in-house breeding company is that we get to work directly with Bailey's marketing team and their product development team to try and develop and tailor our breeding program to suit the needs of our parent company. It's really about the diversity. Um, we're arguably one of the most diverse propagation nurseries you'll find. Um, within that, we have many different processes from seeds to layers, softwood and hardwood cuttings, budding, layering, TC, divisions, root pieces. We're able to approach each plant with careful considerations and finding the best ways to propagate those plants, making it successful for ourselves and our customers. Um, within that, there's also many different options, including environment and climates, to make that plant grow as successful as possible. Without our customers, we're nothing. It's a commitment for us to serve their needs and do the best that we can. At, at Bailey, uh, when you think about our consumer brands, uh, really, first and foremost, we make sure that we're putting the best plants forward to the consumer, to the grower, and to the retailer. And so from that, when we start developing the marketing around that, it's our job to make sure that we're adding value to everyone that's participating with our brands so that they get the prices that they're looking for, they, we create the demand that's out there. And so, um, with Endless Summer, First Edition Shrubs and Trees, and Easy Elegance Roses, all of those brands have a national program that's really developed to create that pull through marketing. We use a number of different mediums to create that demand and generate that interest, whether it's through digital. We're using really innovative things like connected television, which really changed the game for us. We use billboards, whatever those mediums are, the reality is number one, we want consumers to know that uh, Endless Summer is a brand that's great for their area. And then from that, growers that are supplying retail can have the confidence to know that that pull through is happening. So that when a decision has to be made about what to schedule in a production scenario, you can proceed with confidence to know that first editions plants, Endless Summer are fully supported and are gonna have the demand that is required to be successful. I think are really two things that um two primary things that have recently happened that have been very significant investments the company's made um, that supports our customers' needs. Uh, first and foremost, probably most recently, the uh, integration of uh, an acquisition of Carlton Plants. So with the acquisition of Carlton Plants, it's really bringing two strong companies together with two really great groups of employees. The focus being consistent best practices. Our managers are making the right decisions of what needs to be grown where to best benefit the plant and the company. And all that comes back to basically the, the liner that we're putting into our pots. And so it's giving us more options, more depth in our product line, and just it's really up in the bar on the quality of the plant that we're putting into our container that essentially makes our job easier uh, in container production and really ups the quality of what we're shipping to our customers. 
Better Together best describes the integration of Bailey Nurseries and Carlton Plants. We've taken the best of both companies, integrated them into one common practice to provide the best products for our customers. So another significant investment that, that Bailey's has made in regards to our container operations has been uh, the acquisition of our Illinois operation. We've been at that location now for 10 years. Um, the landscape of that operation has, has changed, it's grown, it's shifted a little bit. That's really helped benefit our customers. It's put us closer to some of our accounts in the Chicagoland area, uh, throughout the state of Illinois, into southern Wisconsin, into Indiana, closer to St. Louis. It's, it's really benefited those accounts. They've been able to get some product out of Illinois sooner than we would traditionally be able to supply that out of Minnesota. Uh, so there's a benefit there. There's also a benefit. Uh, some of their timing on their product is different. And so some, for some of our larger accounts, they're utilizing our Illinois operation along with our Minnesota and Oregon operations to really figure out when they need to be bringing in their product and from what location. Working with collaborators, um, other nurseries, network growers, um, universities, um, really to advance that propagation uh, process. Uh, current investments at, at the nursery include uh, tissue culture initiation, acclimatization you know, with LED or conventional greenhouses, um, incorporating fertilizer at the propagation stage, um, and just looking at IBA trials and different methods of IBA application, and also unlocking production success both here and at, with some of our partners through different types of trays and pots and flats. I'd say our number one priority is without a doubt hydrangea macrophylla. Um, as you know, Endless Summer is arguably the world's best-selling brand of hydrangea macrophylla and we want to be able to keep it that way. We want to be able to provide superior genetics that will continue to feed that brand for years to come. And in order to do that, we have to really thoroughly vet our plants. And so not only breeding, but actively trialing our plants for the Endless Summer program is without a doubt the number one objective that we've got. Being a Southern company, we also breed with a lot of Southern genera like Lagerstromia and Vitex and Viburnum. And just like with Hydrangea macrophylla, we have found selections that have a tendency to rebloom throughout the year, providing a lot more seasonal interest than a plant which will only flower once. Whether you're in production, whether you're in sales, whether you're in marketing, the advancements out there are constantly evolving. And I think that in the marketing realm, when we think about the marketplace and how it's shifting, you know, there's so many different behaviors happening today than ever before. We're seeing that in how people shop. I mean, this pandemic has taught us that consumers are more willing to buy plants online than ever before. They're also, you know, we're also seeing young people, young millennial, uh, people and even younger starting to come into that phase of home ownership that three or four years ago was really not in the cards. It was simply unattainable because the job market was so tough and not that the job market's any better, but more and more before this pandemic and as things progress, millennials are starting to enter that home ownership. So how they shop, what they're looking for and how they connect with brands and vendors and suppliers and retailers is totally different than it was with mom and dad. And so from a marketing standpoint, we know we have to continue to evolve our message uh, to meet the needs of the consumer. And one of the things that we've done this year with great success already, and we're not even a full year into it, is the evolution of our first edition's brand, where we repackaged that brand, we repositioned it to make sure that we were reaching young homeowners, but still not alienating people that just love plants. And so we developed a really innovative package around it, brightened up the pot color so that it stands out at retail, changed the messaging with the dynamic tag so that it really stood out, but it really bridged the gap uh, so that consumers would, would feel that connectivity to the brand. And then before you know it, they, they're just off and running. And once they have success with one great rock star variety in first editions, they're apt to move on to the next one. And so that's just one example of a number of things that are happening in marketing that they're showing us and um, how consumers are thinking about plants. And so we're excited to continue to generate that, um, that, uh, that connectivity so that that interest level and that future success continues to rise. Being responsible stewards, uh, not only of the land, of the water, of our natural resources, these are all really important to us. Uh, we consume and use a lot of plastic. Um, whether it's polyfilm that goes over uh, our wintering structures or our plants in the winter or our greenhouses, 
to the plastic pots that we're, we're using on a day-to-day -day basis. We've partnered with a company called Revolution Plastics. Uh, the last two years now, we have been able to recycle about close to 250,000 pounds of polyfilm. That polyfilm would have normally gone to a, to a dumpster and into a landfill. Using that and reusing it and recycling it has been a great benefit for, for both companies. We've been recycling our plastic containers for quite a few years. We've recycled just shy of a million pounds of uh, plastics in the last three years alone. That plastic that, that is a part of our business on a day-to-day -day basis is actually going either back into the industry or back into another industry and, and it's being reused in the right way. describe our department's philosophy? Teamwork. Every job is important. Everybody's tasks are important. We're all in this together. The department's philosophy or credo is that attention to detail is paramount in everything that we do. In plant breeding, attention to detail is especially important. A person is often tasked with moving pollen from one plant to another, but also detailed record keeping and Thorough trials are a really essential part to the plant selection process. So making sure that we do our homework is the best way that we can ensure the product we develop and eventually introduce to the market is the best possible product we can deliver. Well, I'm fortunate to work with extremely talented, dedicated, uh, dependable, and passionate people. Um, there is a uh, we can do attitude. Um, you know, I hear often, si se puede, yes we can. When it comes to the nursery and the propagation department, we're always looking that we can do this, we can get it done, and just looking for those ways to make it happen. Um, yeah, we've had crop failures in the past and we will again in the future, but it's learning from those failures and learning from those mistakes to come through together with um, a more positive outlook uh, and, and learn and have confidence that we can learn and grow from each other. Efficiently produce and ship a high quality product consistently um, to meet our customers' needs and be a reliable resource for our customers. That word consistency is key um, and, it, and it's way easier said than done. I think essentially our product mix uh, that we offer uh, in containers, it needs to evolve because our customers are evolving, but more importantly, our end consumer is changing. So it, it needs to constantly be, be looked at and, and questioned are we doing the right thing? Are we offering the right product out of the right location? Uh, as those other primary variables change with our customers and our end consumers. I do think that uh, over the course of the next coming years, we're gonna continue to see our product line grow and evolve in regards to new varieties uh, and new selections that are coming out of our own breeding program. So our philosophy in marketing at Bailey is hopefully one that's shared by um, any organization that's focused on learning and, co and constantly focused on improvements. Um, me personally, uh, I've been in this industry for, for 18, 20 years, actually I think a bit longer now that I, I, I remember that. Um, the one thing I do know about myself is that I, I don't know nearly as much as the people around me. And so as a team, a marketing team, we really focus on making sure that we've got the right skills, the right people in place uh, to leverage their talent, to learn from one another, to support each other, and ultimately put our best foot forward each and every day because we're all taking advantage of everyone's strengths and input. And so um, I think the same is true for any for any operation, uh, whether you're, you're propagating plants and all of a sudden you realize, hey, there's a different way, technique of doing things and it was brought along by, some, brought, brought along by someone on the team um, I very much feel the same way about marketing and, and what that philosophy means to, to uh, not only our, our, our team, but the organization as a whole. What's next for Bealey Nurseries? The continual improvement, whether it's growing the newest and latest varieties from our breeding program to improving our practices. We are here to ensure you get the best product as our customer. Um, I would say that we're gonna continue to develop trialing procedures and practices that really help thoroughly vet our plants to make sure that we're putting them through the ringer and we're really trialing them and testing them in every way possible so that we can ensure that the product we deliver to the grower 
gives them success so that their customers can have success and those growers will then have success in the home garden, hopefully encouraging them to come back to the brands that they've had success with, specifically Endless Summer and First Editions. We're gonna also continue experimenting with different forms of plant transformation, both in tissue culture and out of, but uh, primarily focusing on our trialing process and really honing in on the best possible practices for the production industry is one of the most important things that we can do at Bailey Innovations. What's next for Bailey Propagation? Well, gosh, it's it's really uh, there's really a great future ahead of ahead of us. Um, it's uh, I'm working with a great team since the uh, acquisition of Carlton Plants. We've really come together, have a great propagation team. That I'm really really excited about honestly. Um, diversifying our production and propagation lines and looking at new opportunities with great new staff. Um, we're working on really wonderful things, like I mentioned, um, TC advancements, um, acclimatization through different areas. We're working with wireless sensors, uh, LoRa technology, um, and just creating a, creating a sense of a, of a new propagation department. Really great opportunities and great possibilities for, for the nursery. So I think what you'll see is a continued focus on new introductions and new plants uh, and new breeding that's coming out of our, our own breeding facilities uh, here at the nursery, in addition to other breeders across the country that are trying to find new and better selections. That's gonna keep our mix uh, fresh and, and, and new and interesting uh, here at Bailey's. And I think that along with marketing and sales support um, for our customers to better promote those brands. Um, that is the direction the container operations going here at Bailey's and that's the operate that's the direction we're seeing container operations going across the country. Uh, it's about what's new, it's about what's next, but it's also about making sure that our company stands behind those products and offers the support, um, whether that's through marketing resources, uh, advertising assistance, but also production knowledge. Um, and so I continue to see as our, as our network grows of new plants and new introductions, I still see a uh, very critical part of, of, of our production here at Bailey's is gonna be continuing to reach out to our partners, uh, our other growers, and, and lean on each other and get information from each other on how best to produce a certain plant or a set of new plants to basically help strengthen our networks and our industry. With over 115 years of growing experience, Bailey uses that solid foundation to build a strong future, continually learning and adapting to climate changes, market shifts, and industry demands. A progressive partner that offers needs-based solutions, a friendly resource in tough times and prosperous times, a forward-thinking pioneer in horticulture and consumer marketing. Join us in growing what's next.